Hello and welcome to an Ark Survival Ascended video. In today's episode, we're going to be learning how to tame the mod creature, uh, Ceratosaurus. This is from the uh, Ark Editions mod. Um, so, since consoles are now able to uh, do mods, I uh, figured I'd cover some of the more popular ones in some of our short little how-to videos. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to kill some ceratosauruses to get their toxin and create the hemoglobin toxin that I was showing in the uh, segment right before I left my base. Uh, hemoglobin toxin is going to be very critical to actually being able to tame these. If you don't have it, you won't be able to tame it. This is not a knockout tame. It is a passive tame. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you want to locate a ceratosaurus. Once you've located one, uh, just make sure it's one you want to tame. I've been looking for one forever, so I decided to take this lame uh, one that I saw up here. It's not the greatest, but it's also a good way to show you all the basics of taming these. Um, I am playing on uh, three times uh, official rates right now. Uh, I was recording this during the... Uh, the extra life event so the rates were pretty boosted at the time of recording this video so uh, you may end up needing more supplies than I brought along in this particular instance but uh, let's get into it so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to feed your tame the <clears throat> the hemoglobin toxin that you manufactured on your way over once you fed your tame that just let it attack you're gonna want something tanky uh, I wasn't expecting to find one over here. I would have brought something like a Stego instead of my Argent. Um, but he's pretty beefy, uh, so I'm going to take the risk here and hope that he doesn't die in the event because this is only a level 25, uh, so it's not too hardcore. What you're going to want to do is you're just going to let him attack you for as long as it takes for him to get blood drunk off of you. So the more times he attacks, the higher his blood uh, drunk level will go. Uh, we'll see it go up again in a second here. If it, there we go. He's now 40% drunk. All you want to do is just keep standing around and being as passive as possible and letting him keep attacking you. Once again, you normally would want something a lot more tanky than an Argentavis. I just happened to find him by a fluke. I've been looking for one for days to make this video and haven't been able to locate one, so just be aware of that. So all we're going to do is just keep standing by, waiting for him. A couple more hits, and he should be getting near blood drunk. There we go, he's 67% now. So two, three more hits ought to do it. There we go, 82. 87, one more will do it. There we go. He is now blood drunk, so he's going to be completely passive now. He will not attack you as long as that pink cloud is around him. So uh, what we're doing here is we are just feeding him uh, prime meat. Uh, you can feed him kibbles as well. I believe it's the highest level one, the extraordinary one that he will eat. Uh, but you do have an option of giving him prime. Uh, since the rates were at three times for the event at this time that I was on I went with prime meat especially since babies are now plentiful on the arc and they make uh, really simple ways for you to gather a lot of prime meat really fast uh, so I fed him prime meat it worked out pretty well I got a 99% effective tame on this guy at the end of the day so definitely not horrible um, as long as you're on an evo weekend or something of that nature you should be fine with this so yeah, what's going to end up happening is just like any other passive tame, you got to wait till he gets hungry. You're going to go over there and you're going to give him some food when he's hungry. When he's not hungry, you won't give him any food, of course, because you won't be able to. So I just put this on a little bit faster because I don't believe in wasting everybody's time. Uh, the whole point of this channel is to get you the facts that you need as quickly as possible with as little fluff as possible. Um, now that Ark Survival Ascended has dropped on console, uh, you'll start to see more Ark Survival Ascended videos coming out uh, where I go straight to the point of how to do various things in Ark uh, to keep you where you need to be and progressing along the appropriate paths for the game. Uh, so I have been away for a while because Ark Survival Evolved ended up dropping off. There wasn't much left to do at the end. Uh, we could have kept creating videos, but they would have been rather pointless. So. I ended up stopping for a while, but now that Ascended's dropped on console, I will be covering 
all sorts of arc survival ascended on how to and stuff of that nature uh, now that mods are available on console i'll cover a little bit more in the mod stuff than i used to uh, back when i was doing the arc survival evolve video uh, thank you guys for your time here if this helped you out in any way please consider giving us a thumbs up so that we can uh, get more uh, interaction with the art community uh, once again thank you so much for checking out this video and i hope you have a wonderful afternoon Bye.